in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed write the following things down number one you will have to take risks to succeed you will have to take risks to succeed in 2010 during our kingdom wealth summit i taught in the business session that faith in the realm of success and especially in business and all of that is spelled r i s k that's the spelling of faith we live in a world of people who are so risk averse, so fearful, they will never do anything. Christians are some of the most fearful people in terms of taking action. It's one thing to wait upon the Lord and to wait for seasons. But it's another thing for you to know that this is a season and you close your eyes and take a step of faith. Brothers and sisters, if you must meet Jesus, you must walk on that water. If it be thou, bid me come. And he said, come. There are too many people who will not take action. You will not start that business because you are afraid. I watch somebody lose. I don't want to lose money. I don't want to lose my shop. I don't want to do this. What if the birds die? Africa is full of what ifs. And we never take action. Stand up and do something. What if I apply and I don't get the job? It will be that I wasted money. It will take 5,000 for me to go and submit my CV in Lagos. It will take another 5,000 for me to return. Maybe I will need to book a hotel, 10,000, and stay two days. If I spend 30,000 just to submit my CV, what if I don't get the job? There is no guarantee. There is no uncle there. We live in an age of fearful people, risk-averse people. Every champion, every world changer, listen to me, is a person of risk. Abraham, take your son. It's a risk. The law of faith. A time must come in your success equation where you have to close your eyes and like Esther say, if I perish, I perish. Failure is not the end of life. Don't fear failure. When you fear failure, you program it to happen in your life. Great people are not those without failures. Listen carefully. Great people are those who have learned how to rise even when they fall. The brand 7up. For years I didn't know why it was called 7up until I began to study brands and I found out that it was called 7up because the person tried 6 times, 6 times and failed. It was the seventh time that he succeeded that's why he called it seven up so six down and then seven up you drink it and you are happy but you are drinking somebody's success after failure what if he stopped the sixth time what if he stopped the sixth time like many of you have stopped most christians think because god said to do something means that you will succeed automatically you will still go through the law of process and many times it will require failure why failure because you have to learn why failure because you have to build mastery why failure because you have to understand how things work the body of christ thinks prophecy is just an escape route from going through the law of process make no mistakes when you see people rise they have made mistakes that you did a business and failed does not mean god did not speak to you and believers will be the first to tell you sam i warned you don't open a shop i told you there's no money in zaria you claim that god told you you opened a shop after one week and robbers came and waylaid you and by it they will say i saw a vision it's just that i didn't know how to tell you and based on that vision you close the shop and remain broke that's why many christians are poor 
broke and mediocre. You sit down wishing, I will do something one day until somebody just gets up and does it. There is a vacancy. I don't know anybody. Oh, should I apply? Should I not apply? And you are sitting there and you watch somebody with less qualifications than you. Go and submit the CV. Listen, the world only honors men of action. Not just men of wish. Men of action. After all the planning and everything, you must take action take action i want to start the school forever you have not done anything apostle god called me to be a millionaire ceo you said this thing in the year 2000 you've not registered one company millions have passed through your hands you've not done anything i will do this i will do that the world is full of people at 84 they tell you when i was 20 years i wanted to do this and for 64 years they couldn't do anything. The fearful and the cowardly never become great. Write it down. The law of faith. The fearful and the cowardly never become great. There are people today, I will learn how to drive in the name of Jesus. You started two weeks. One, one truck just passed near you and you said, it's not by force. The first time you, you went to a driving lesson, you were 19. Now you are almost 40. You can't take a car by the road. Why? Not because there are no cars. <laughs> I don't want to die. But somebody needs to carry you from one place to the other. Yet you see some of these house boys. Have you seen them during Salah? Nine years old on bike. They don't think of failure. All of them, they learn how to ride bike in two hours. They learn how to drive their buses within two days. Their ogres pack it for them in PZ. And then while they are gisting, the boys are the ones who keep pushing it. And that's how they learn. In two weeks, they have learned. You see somebody who cannot drive anything driving to Mina. And you see risks that should kill him. Listen, brothers and sisters. Fear runs away from courageous people. Fear itself as a spirit is afraid of certain people. The cowardly in life never become anything. One guy called me one time and he said, Apostle, um, we, we are going to, I, I think it's a crusade or so, somewhere. And he said, Apostle, sorry, is it possible for us to call you if we are stranded? I said, no, I didn't send you. Go there and go to that field and experience what it means to have supernatural testimonies. Go and stand there. There are coppers. The moment they post them, you are here, they post them to Bielsa. I don't know anybody. You say, everybody, please call on Kudis. Call on that. How old are you? 30. Ah. Because of inaction. Many of our parents, the day they were leaving the village, the only thing they left with was a blessing. They returned back home after 20 years successful. Their parents just told them, Tom, don't pursue women. Don't drink beer. Love God. Be serious. We bless you. Bye-bye. When they came into the city, they knew nobody but their God. And they started. Listen, let me teach you something. Never over pamper people. Give them an opportunity to take action. Especially for those of us who are rich. Love your children. Love everybody, but don't over pamper people. You must give people room to take action. It is God that protects. Most of us, that's why we have weak men today. We have men who are like women. You know why? There is too much over pampering. A young boy tells you he wants to write Wayek. And you tell him, sit down and come up with an idea. How much is the form? 7,000. Okay, think of something you can do to raise 2,000. And he comes out after three hours playing computer games. And he said, I could not think of anything. Are there no grasses in people's houses to weed? Are we together? That's why we raise a lot of irresponsible people. What's wrong with meeting someone and say, Sir, I am a young boy who is trying to, um, I want to move forward. My parents do not have the opportunity to help me. Please, sir, can you allow me weed your grass? My budget is 6,000. I don't know how much this will be, but I can weed your grass. I can call my friends. And you look at a young man walking his way to greatness. 
and you can say go ahead and weed it and instead of giving him one thousand or two thousand you can give him three thousand and your number you have helped that boy are we together there are many people who do not want to take action there are many men today who lost their jobs since year 2000 till today they've been given all kinds of flimsy excuses that's why we love prophecy because we think prophecy is an excuse for responsibility say in the name of jesus i receive grace tonight to take action give us job 325 never fear failure write it down never fear failure never fear failure for the thing which i greatly feared is come upon me and that which i was afraid of is come unto me this is job speaking never fear failure when you fear failure you create the you activate the law of expectation failure don't be afraid of stepping into the unknown be guided yes but know that no matter how people love you you will have to take that action god is speaking to someone here your excuses are over you are getting older and older and you are not getting established why because i am i don't that my uncle promised me when i was in 200 level now your uncle is dead stop crying thank god for your your father said he would not help you you must sit down and tell yourself i'm not going to beg again i sit down and i will do something let me tell you heaven will back those who will take action and be serious you are waiting for marriage to bail you out you are a lazy person you are a very very lazy person there are many men who are looking for wives i don't have a problem with our ladies honestly in terms of responsibility my challenge especially over action is for brothers there are some of you looking at me right now you are growing older but your sense of responsibility is still at a zero level no action if at age 30 you are still calling home mom C, will you send me something pop C, will you send me something listen to me very carefully you are on your way to being an irresponsible husband irresponsible father you don't become responsible just because a ring entered your hand you must be a father first before you have children it is not children that make you a father it's from the word Abba the consciousness to be a provider Are we together you are a man here and you are not catering for your family they may not have the courage to tell you but i'm telling you now you are failing god in that family are we together i wish i had the opportunity to reach some of our loved ones let me tell them it's a shame when a daughter a son turns to their father and say father it's it's time i, I need to buy a shirt and the man said what will i do sir I'm, a, I'm in final year i need money for my project should i kill myself i tell you the truth that is irresponsibility to the core what should that person do you are simply saying go and be a prostitute i don't care action today we are here by the grace of god because of action after you plan you must act when you fail you stand up re-strategize and move forward let them laugh at you the ones who are laughing at you have not taken action that's why you see let me tell you anybody they are not talking about is because he's not doing anything it's not because they like you it's because you have not done anything yet the law of faith matthew chapter 7 verse 7 to 8 please give it to us every great man will tell you that he pursued the unknown every great man will tell you he took steps when there was no guarantee it is usually when we see the results that we think the people had any guarantee the bible says ask and it shall be given to you it says seek and seek although you have not found it seek it listen when i started doing something about my finances i didn't know how to move from point a to point b i started the journey to success understanding it in 2004 
until then it was just gambling understanding but i made up my mind 2004 i said i would learn these systems i didn't know anything no opportunity for mentorship almost everybody around me was not really making it and i said no i have to learn i remember getting dr miles monroe's books and i started from there i didn't know but i began to seek listen let me tell you do not think knowledge will come and meet you and spoon feed you pursuit is the proof of passion you must be passionate enough to pursue it i watch people right now i don't know how many times seeking for uncommon mentors in the rain in the sun and little discomfort and he says, sorry uh, the way my hair is eh? every time i'm listening once there's heat it destroys you are not and i let the ladies do it that's all right god created them that way but you as a man i have headaches so i won't listen to the message <laughs> that means that panadol is far from you because the grace and the resources to buy it will come through what enters your ears brother say in the name of jesus i did shout it in the name of jesus from this night i declare that the days of wishing are over i take action now go and start that business go and submit your cv don't sit down tell yourself by september i should be walking that's faith by september i should be walking and see whether the god of all flesh will not make it happen lord i have failed but i'm starting again i i see the mistakes i made i don't have any capital now but lord i trust in you if you fall and remain there then you have really failed but if you fall and you still stand up you have not failed are we together Everybody say courage. Shout it, courage. There is nobody. I have watched people in this ministry rise up with no guarantee of anything. And today God has honored them. You must be courageous. Joshua was now going to be a leader over several people. Several people. God did not tell him, Joshua, make sure you eat well oh, so that you don't collapse. He said be strong and of good courage they will act like fools but be strong you are a leader there is an anointing upon you you watch what we do today by the grace of god and think one uncle just gave money or somebody said i will give you venue or somebody said no nobody gives you any guarantee stop insulting your uncles your aunties your brothers and sisters and say nobody is supporting me let your faith support you let your faith support you are you hearing what i'm saying let your faith support you you had a dream and you saw yourself submitting a cv in ibadan apostle but i've never gone there i'd like you to prepare and trust god for grace share the idea with two or three people carry your cv and go to the park in the night you're in kaduna park where are you going in ibadan and see whether god tear your bible if you go to ibadan and god does not back you there he's waiting for you in ibadan is not waiting for you at the place of disobedience as soon as you get to ibadan in the in the luxurious that you enter you will now meet somebody where are you going so it's like i know you somewhere ah your sister's graduation i was a classmate really where are you staying the miracle starts the bible says this sign shall follow if you don't take steps you will not see signs apostle when will i enter i mean i need the healing anointing must you die before you know you fell under the anointing you let sick people pass you somebody says i have cancer and you just say ah i remember this cancer is can can be transferred you see that attitude of unbelief you will never walk in power what do you think a miracle service is a show nobody starts with mastery you see how children walk they start and then they start crawling do you stop them from crawling sometimes in a bit to hold the table they hit their head does that mean walking is not possible how the child hits the head you you rub it 
What do you tell the child? Sorry. Sorry means sorry for now. Continue. Move again. You love that child, but you cannot work for the child. The person who stops that child from working is stopping him from becoming an adult. Are we together? I wrote jam five times. I didn't get it. I will give up. Are you joking? No. Look at jam and say, jam, as for me and you, one of us will give up. One of us will give up. I will walk you and weary you. Where will the money come from? Don't worry. Don't worry. God is alert and active watching over his word to perform it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, apostle, I'm of age and I need to move from my parents' house now to get a place. But uncle did not send the money. Keep quiet. One day you get up and go and buy a bag with the 2,000 you have. Pack your clothes and say, Daddy, just like you advised me, I'm on my way going. I got one one room somewhere and I'm going. He said, that one room, nothing. There's no carpet. He says, sir, if I don't leave, I will not become a man like you. If I don't leave, I will continue. For as long as I come back and I can go to the kitchen, who had part of my yam? You are still a child. You need to push yourself. And you stand up. And while you are moving, God is saying, watch this. The angels are backing. You do not know. All of a sudden, the moment you get there, some brothers from your fellowship will come and God will speak to somebody. Buy him a rock. The first time you are experiencing miracles by yourself, not in partnership with another person's faith, your faith is growing. And you begin to see that God is faithful for yourself. Uh, Apostle, I think I need a job before I move out of my father's house. How was your father when he moved out of his own father's house? Very fearful people. Very fearful people. Hallelujah. I teach responsibility, but you must conquer fear. You get out and you stay in that room. It's raining. And water is dropping on you from that one room. And you are just imagining the AC that is in your own house. Exactly. That's what made Moses a savior. Pushed him out. And as that rain is dropping, it drops and does something to your brain and you say no more i can't live like this i'm seeing the reality of irresponsibility glaring before me the very next day you will sell two clothes and buy one book you are making progress and sit down you go and get financial dominion part one two three and sit down next time you hear people are fasting you don't say they are just see do you know why many of us don't take action we have been reaping the harvest of many people's seeds. You think it's your faith that is working. The proof that your faith is working or not, leave all the support and stand alone. Then you will know whether you really have faith. Are we together? There are people who don't know how to trust God. There's this song in my heart. My trust is in you. You know the song? Sam. Help me. Just that one song. One minute. I want you to sing that song because I believe God is speaking to somebody. You know the song I'm talking about? Lion of Judah My trust is in you Ancient of days My trust is in you I put them on you
listen, sit down. Anyone who is jobless here, I'm talking specifically to the brothers. Sisters, you are, you are coming, but let me speak to the brothers. If you are jobless here, jobless does not mean civil service. Jobless means stream of income. You are not doing anything and you are not serious. I want you to know that God is talking to you tonight. Take action. Brothers, shout, I take action. Say it again. Someone has got to push you. And some of our parents love us too much to push us. Oh, I'm a graduate. Go and open a Babin saloon. The money you have can buy three clippers. And open it in the name of Jesus. Package a little seed and come and drop it in corn. Not for me. It's a principle. You know it. Go and open the Babin saloon. Are we together? Yes. There are many lazy people moving around. You may not be a millionaire, but from that little God will honor you. Tell yourself, I cannot wait until the day somebody tips me. Everybody that passes you, you are waiting and hoping they drop something. When will you start blessing others? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Can three people come and take action and say there is no ice cream making machine in Zaria? Three of us, let's come together. How much do you have? 500,000. How much do you have? 200,000. How much do you have? 100,000. Let's have an agreement. Let's get one of these shops and make one of the top ice cream machine machines around. You make it the first 20 people free. You launch it. Come and collect a bottle of oil here. Shekata. I will pray on it with all my heart. You drop it on that shop, it will be like jam. Hold on, don't shout. You have never done it. How many times have I spoken about it here? Listen, listen. Action takers are the ones who move forward. You graduated 10 years ago. You submitted your CV twice. And it's because they told you. Who do you want to spoon feed you with the job? Stand up and take action. Fail honorably and come. I will hug you. I will pray for you. And you will go back. You are learning how to walk. You are learning how to walk. Everybody say I will rise again. I'm speaking to people who tried rising. And then you went down. And Christians are usually the ones who say take it is you. Take it is here. This, this decoration, how many people get married in Zaria? You just went to go and spend 200,000 to go and buy all this. Look at the, how many ribbons. You know, you even say you want to do canopy. You better don't destroy yourself. And all of a sudden, you see somebody will come. And just when he's opening the canopy, that's when God is bringing explosion to another church. And they'll say you are the one who is supplying us. Look at those who supply canopies. Imagine if those who supply these canopies now are here in Koinonia every week even if you don't do any other business again yet you are sitting down buying fake things fake whatever to prove levels that you have not gotten to challenge yourself the law of faith you must take action i have taken bold steps in my life bold steps in my life the word trust in the lord proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 is from the word bata. It means throw yourself like you pick one of these are little ones. You see how these my children come to greet me after service. Some of them just run and just fly and expect that I hold them. If I don't hold them, it's still me that will pay for it. Correct? A child runs to the father. You gave birth to me, I didn't ask you. I fly. Pick me. That's what you do to God. When you take action, you put pressure on God's integrity. Lord, you said this. You said it is, it is, it is, um, what, what any man that cannot cater for his family is worse than an infidel. I'm a married man with three children. Lord, I am tired of allowing, waiting for my wife to come back with 20,000. And that's what we're all feeding from. These children cannot go to school. Lord, I receive grace to take action. I will go and seek advice. I will go and receive prayer. I will receive an impartation, but I will take action. The anointing can come upon you. But you must take action for it to work. When did you ever lay hands on somebody to be healed? 
oh let me run to prayer department benga or let me run to promise or oh, anybody let me run to any of the people oh let me run to this i think i'm hungry let me run to the welfare mama please ma you too you know the way nigeria is that if you if you don't challenge yourself you will never rise you need to take action take action take action tell yourself no i'm going to be responsible lord i trust you lord i believe you there are many of us who have never sown a seed do you know why because of fear never sown it god cannot even tell you to empty your account yeah, 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 yeah. you will bind bind and cast and curse and say let this voice never speak to me again that's why you can never rise i'll never forget the time the lord gave me an instruction to sow everything over 80 percent of all my clothes aside from what i did in Port Harcourt. And I just carried those things. When I sold them, it was as if I would die. Now, I live. If God tells me to empty my account and empty my life and everything, I will do it gladly because I know him. I know him. Not because I like it. Not because it's convenient. When you know God, then you'll be able to take certain steps. Are we together? Yes. Listen. The workers in this ministry start dressing, arranging chairs and canopies way before people come. Did anybody sign an agreement that by evening all the overflows will be full? It takes faith. We believe what God has said. We believe that we are adding value. And so in the morning, people start preparing. Imagine that you wait until people come. Then you now say, oh, there are plenty of people today. Oh yeah, let's go. Do you know that every space you give God is what he feels? You have not taken action. That's why. Your shop is still small and you are there. God has been prompting your spirit. Move to a bigger one and you say, Ah, God, don't mock me. So you will never see the miracle. The law of faith. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. God is speaking to someone tonight. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. Ah, this thing I've shared it has fired my spirit and so everybody read talking about Abraham read on and so after he had patiently endured did what lion of Judah my trust is in you over my destiny my trust is in you help me sir. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Sing that song with understanding. Put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. Ancient of days, my trust is in you. Oh, I am that I am. My trust is in you. My trust is in you. I say, I put them on you. My trust, my trust is in you. It takes faith to begin to prepare for five children when you are not yet in a relationship. I'm preparing. Oh, I don't want to waste my time. Who will come and marry me? Let the guy come first. When he comes and I'm sure the day he ever says, I will go and see your parents, I will read like never before. You will never marry that. Are you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, five children are going to come out from this womb. You take a step of faith. You have not entered any relationship. Who knows me? Look at that foolish question. What do you mean who knows me? God? The God you serve? You lay your hands. You are bringing five children from this womb and they will all be a blessing. No giving birth to armed robbers. No giving birth to terrorists. I will not give birth to a son who will kill me because of trouble. You are preparing. You go and buy a book in advance. The power of a praying wife. You go and buy a book. God tells you you marry a man of God. You don't wait until the preacher comes. He may marry you as a civil servant and after five years God calls him into ministry. God didn't lie but you didn't prepare. God told you you are going to be a millionaire and you are waiting and say, God, when you said I'm going to be a millionaire, my palm sanders, everything I have home and abroad is 10,000. I can sell all my clothes for 20,000. That's foolish thinking. You go and buy a book. Lord, you have called me into kingdom financing. You told me I'm going to mentor and raise a generation and bless people. You do it. You put 
pictures around put a picture on your laptop that represents your future and every time you see it you prophesy i may be small now but in the name of the lord jesus i have no father i have no support but i'm coming i'm coming i trust the name of the lord i may be weak i may not be able to explain to people i'm doing something they may even say you are lazy what are you always doing in a room why are you always sitting down when you say i'm building my mind they say what is mine are we going to eat mine just continue the day god honors you then you will stand and sing this song that we are singing tonight i believe that there is an anointing on this song this night that people have to trust god take action trust god it takes faith to be great it takes faith to have a healing ministry nobody gives you a guarantee that anybody will be healed it takes faith to be a man of god it takes faith to be a businessman it takes faith to be a wife and a mother you are not allowed to have a child ordinarily before marriage so how do you know you are fruitful it takes faith lion of judah my trust is in you the ancient of days my trust is in you oh i am that i am my trust is in you build a house in their lives many of our fathers their salaries were 150 now they are retired there is no house you know why because of fear i will build it one day i don't have enough money then god granted you grace they created one scheme in your job and gave everybody land four plots of land is more than enough to build a family house mostly their wives will tell them honey build build time is going this how much is the money there's one money i'm expecting it will come tomorrow god said you have hundred thousand it can bring one tip of sand go and bring it and pour it on the side that's faith you are saying lord i'm starting this out the hand of zerubbabel that started when you start god begins to move people i remember the first day we bought equipment i remember one by one one by one i remember when i started buying you know not even just for ministry for myself to think and say one day i'll get a laptop is a joke a laptop who gives you the money see hear me this god is a good god worship team told us already this god is a faithful god but while you are waiting for him i don't know who i'm speaking to this night God is saying, I'm tired of waiting for you. Take a step. 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 Who told you the business will fail? Take a step. Are we together? Take a step. Ah, I have one million naira now. I'm thinking of starting small poultry. I'm thinking of getting a little golf. But I hear that this cars used to spoil a bee and that your profit doesn't come out. So you will remain there until the day somebody comes usually those kind of people will sit down and then something will happen you will carry hundred thousand from it something will happen they will invite you for one event that doesn't have head and tail and they will massage your ego and you will know when you carry three hundred thousand on behalf of me and my wife i donate this money and the money has finished and you'll never be successful success systems the law of faith every great man walks on water every great man walks on water it is your faith that turns that water to concrete we are going to sing this song one more time and then i'll go to the next law but i want you to sing it with understanding i have trusted men they have failed me i have trusted systems i trusted my certificate it failed me lord i lift my eyes and i trust in you you are the one who can wipe my tears my uncle promised me and disappointed me many have concluded that because i finished with the past there is no greatness that's what the devil wants to do all the time to make you not trust god but i'm challenging men of faith lion of judah my trust is in you My trust is in you. I am that I am. My trust is in you. I say in my family, Lord. My trust is in you. Say, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. Oh, you
17 the law of favor Lord I pray that somebody will get this in the name of Jesus I pray that somebody will get this Psalms 89 verse 17 for thou art the glory of their strength and in thy favor shall our horn be exalted favor is the number one reason people succeed favor is the number one reason the number one reason why you will succeed is favor you need favor to achieve your goals and dreams you need favor to achieve your goals and dreams it is impossible to get to the place of destiny without favor no sir you've heard people say that one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor it is hardly an exaggeration one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor many people do not have favor in their lives why because they are not taught what favor is and how to release favor in their lives those who are even taught favor are only taught one side of favor and it's like whenever you say favor we leave it on to god god just favor us now no there is an exact equation that leads to favor favor is not a miracle write it down favor is a reaction favor is not a miracle favor is a reaction you can program favor in your life a reaction means that it is a response favor is a reaction it's not a miracle favor miracles can happen and do happen but favor is not a miracle What is favor? Let's define favor. Favor is when someone is willing to invest their life, their time, their resources, their credibility to help you achieve your goals. That's favor. When somebody is willing to participate in your success, it's called favor. When someone is willing to invest their life, invest their credibility, invest their money, invest their knowledge into you to help you achieve your goals, it's called favor. Favor is not just unmerited access. That's a very limited thinking, limited teaching, limited definition. And it's the reason why, let me tell you, whether it is merited or unmerited, favor is access. Calling it unmerited alone is very limited. Favor can be merited. Favor can be merited. Your obedience and understanding. The Bible says good understanding secures favor. Favor can be merited. What is favor? Someone willing to sacrifice There are resources to help you succeed. 
all success are related to favor all success whether all kinds of success financial success ministry success business success marital success they are directly related to favor all success testimonies you will want to write all success testimonies are related to favor i have heard so many success testimonies there is not one of them that is not related to favor there is a gap in that testimony all success testimonies are related to favor are you learning something write this down who likes you matters in your success who likes you matters in your success brothers and sisters one man called Ahasuerus hated one one woman and her entire life crumbled just because one person of influence hated her are we together the same man who hated one woman and destroyed her entire life turned and loved Esther and her life changed overnight from a village girl to a queen who likes you matters now many Christians think it doesn't matter I don't care who likes me or who doesn't like me if you are speaking in terms of dependence on God I understand that context but in terms of channels to release favor is a joke who likes you matters there are people listening to me from Joss we came back from Joss and um, while I went to minister in Joss you know part of the system of honor for me there was a little girl lovely lady and that they gave this thing they put on the neck and flower you know just to greet me and as soon as i got into the hotel there were people lined up and the little girl was standing and then you know we come you know recite i didn't even know what she was saying you know you are welcome to so and so and so and then put that thing and then gave me and i looked at the lady and i fell in love with that dear girl instantly and i told her i said do you know what you are my friend when i came on stage i made sure that they looked for her 10 years old and she stood because i liked her not because i know her i just liked her the next day i said they should bring her to the hotel we would drive together it was together i was gisting with her and i looked at the lady and i said i want to do something for you i want to do something for your family please bring your mother i want to see her now the rest is history but that little girl's life changed in two days simply because somebody liked her do not let anyone lie to you that who likes you does not matter i don't mean who wants to sleep with you who likes you likes you like from heaven likes you to change your life let me tell you the truth listen 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 take what i'm saying very seriously don't just laugh listen who hates you also matters when your boss hates you you will know that it matters because your life will be miserable you may be tongue talking but your boss hates you ah do you know this lady has been serving actively it's time to promote her i, I just hate her please another time and that another time is after three years but there's somebody they can like you as ah, has this person not been in this office for up to two years they say, yes i, I thought it's three three years I, say, I, I changed the policy somebody like daniel and could not sleep in the night because some people manipulate a king stop sleep because he liked daniel early in the morning he got up by himself oh daniel has your god been able to deliver you daniel said i'm alive he said bring all those people daniel didn't say please can you help me punish these people the king said me bring them throw them kill all of them somebody because he likes you can fight your enemies for you enemies you don't have capacity to fight somebody can like you and put himself inside your situation what is going on here sir they want to collect our land our father is dead we are only two say no way i'm a lawyer come and meet me in my office i'm a lawyer i'm a senior advocate what did the person say because of that we will charge him to court he will not only return the land he will give you part of the money for the foundation i know what to do let's go and you are seated somewhere and you see people building a house you know nothing about because somebody liked you who likes you can change your life write this down one person can open a hundred doors of opportunities for you
one person one man one person in your life showing you favor can open a hundred doors of opportunities first samuel 16 verse 22 please give it to us quickly first samuel 16 verse 22 jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and saul sent to jesse saying let david i pray thee stand before me why for he had found favor in my sight go and tell that boy's father bring me that smelly boy regardless of what it is let me tell you when you find favor before a man regardless of what your limitations are they are ignored to bless you you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life now this is coming as a shock to many of us write it down we're getting deeper now you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life if one day god will bless me it's a joke you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life the bible tells us in first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 that samuel grew in favor with god and with men first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 226 and the child samuel grew on and was in favor both with what the lord and also with men listen it is one thing to have favor with god it is an entirely different thing to have favor with men i know so many people who have favor with god but they don't have favor with men luke chapter 2 verse 52 same thing was said about jesus luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with men. A man can increase in favor with God and favor with men. The number one reason for the hardship in people's lives is lack of favor. Lack of favor. I have seen gifted people who don't have favor. I have seen blessed people in terms of abilities i have seen gifted architects no door of favor gifted engineers gifted doctors gifted students no favor i have seen gifted men have you seen men who are gifted they do work for you and you are like my god and you are at this level i know people who know everybody known yet there's no favor in their life you know that they know senate president they know one the chairman of their local government the governor's friend is their father's friend and they have they will show you the numbers of people if i show you look at this is saraki's number this is dogara's number in fact do you know that when i was staying in lagos there was a day that osimba joe came to our house i know him oh and there's no favor they watch everybody on tv ah that's ambassador abc you remember him now 1971 no favor no favor to be gifted is not enough you need favor you need men to partner with your life this ministry by the grace of god is rising not just in terms of finances because of favor favor my life today is is a humbling testimony of god's favor Psalms 102 verse 13. Psalms 102 verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman. Why? For the time to favor him. Yea, the set time. There is a set time for favor. And everyone prophesy to yourself, say, this is my set time say it again this is my set time turn it into a prayer in one minute lord this is my set time when promise came here he said pray tired of hardship hardship is different from poverty a hard life 
a life unassisted by men a life unassisted by helpers is a sign of lack of favor you can have money and not have favor when you pay for everything by yourself you don't have favor now is the time oh god that you arise the set time the set time hallelujah how many of you believe that from this night favor will begin to follow you yes i don't share my testimonies do you know why because many people misunderstand my testimonies when i share testimonies most people not you but maybe most people will think it is um it is pride you are boasting what does he think he is if i share with you testimonies of these ministries what does he think he is but sometimes it's good to encourage people testimonies are ways that let people know god is at work but because we live in a cynical world every time you speak people think you are bragging listen let me tell you brothers and sisters god is my witness and ask everybody who is close to me i only fund less than 20 percent of my life ex expenditure everything almost everything in my life is paid for by men everything everything now you can have the money to pay for it by yourself we are not the same you are not assisted are we together most people think having money is all there is to favor no the ability to have men stand up and say promise i am determined to make you succeed if you don't believe that thing there's no need for a comment for koinonia this night i looked at certain things in the body of christ and i looked at certain men i looked at certain ministries and i saw tears some testimonies of favor their life revolved as they wanted it was as if there was a charm anyone who saw them bless them one of the greatest people let me tell you i am convinced i received the impartation of favor directly from dr mike modok i knew when it came upon my life you know why he's a man that is greatly criticized in the body of christ because of seed 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 and all of that i may not necessarily believe everything but i saw uncommon favor on common a favor like a charm and while others were grumbling i said lord this man is an apostle of wisdom he is the gift of god to the body he represents the spiritual system that controls wisdom and the bible says with me wisdom now are riches wealth and honor durable riches and righteousness he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice and i said lord this thing must happen in my life at that time you don't ever see somebody say god said i should do this god said i used to think those things were just stories you know when i think about my life today i almost want to shed tears you know why because i am a product i am if you are ever looking for a man who answers that name ebenezer that a man that god has helped god lifted your hands that's why when i worship god i i i, I do it i live a very happy and a very peaceful life because i found the key to god's favor there is no time in my life when i lack men to rise and assist and defend this ministry you see we are not just fearfully blessed just because of tithes and offerings the ministry of men strange dimensions of favor that i begin to share with you many of you will be afraid how do they get money we are not herbalists favor when you access these laws it will change you overnight are we together i'm wetting your appetite and then i'm going to teach you quickly while i begin to teach them just bring the vessels and then we'll pour the oil 
because what is coming upon you tonight is the grace for favor I want you to believe it there is such an impartation upon a man for favor father please let your people believe you please please let your people believe you if you don't believe this you will pay for it I promise you there are times for months months I never go to the ATM I even forget that I have an ATM there is no 24 hours no 24 hours that somebody does not bless me no 24 hours i can give you my phone now and you can check from when i sat down till now a lot upon a lot how they got my account number i don't know brothers and sisters there are properties that have been given to me today i don't know where it is i've not gone there to see it do you believe in favor? I shared with you last year about the gold mine. 18.7 hectares of a gold mine given for nothing. Three kings came together and said we must make sure he has it. It is not by might. It is not by power. Are we together? There are tailors that sew my clothes aside from one I have never, aside from another again, two really. One, a cousin to Reverend George Adeboe of Rema. He may even be listening now with his wife. Every time I travel to Lagos to a particular church for meeting, there he comes with his wife. Materials upon materials. Favor. There are bags full of gifts I have not opened since they came. I don't even know what is there. Who told you favor does not work? There are mysterious people who have sent a lot in millions to this ministry. Nobody knows who they are. They didn't even call to say, I am so, 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 and so. What makes you think there is no favor?
and make things work for you almost every day apostle i saw something do you like it there is a woman here i don't know if she's here i wish you were here i would have said she should stand up yesterday after school of ministry i was at the back and a gentleman just came trusting god i think he's here and you know just felt he wanted to sow something and just held some very serious amount dropped it now i see these things all the time and i thank god but it was a woman's testimony that blessed me i saw her with a big bag some of you wear a big um, bucket a small bucket and i said madam what is this she came with her son do you know what she said she said man of god i was having a dream and in that dream you said you wanted to eat chinchi and the mother the woman got a bucket full of chinchi and came yesterday it is still it is still i've not even opened it to see what is there Chinchi. favor favor day and night day and night day and night this is the only way you can succeed and accelerate your life any other thing you will cry and weep and hate people that's why we cannot give because after sweating so much for 50,000, will you really be able to give it? Are we blessed? Testimonies. There is no place and there is no day that I wake up. I wake up every day. May God forgive me if I'm lying. There is no day I don't wake up in the morning with text messages, with recharge cards and bank alerts. Every day, including today, without fail. This is how I live. Because I found from scripture that he daily loads us with benefits. Sometimes I can be sitting down and see a conga van. You ask the boys that work for me. A conga van, bam, just stops. Somebody has ordered something and paid for it. Put my address. And they are offloading these things. And I'm saying, God, what is this? What are you doing to me? And God says, no, you can stop it. You can stop it if you want. I'm waiting your appetite to activate this key. Do you really think you can live a joyful life? When you sit down, you really think your salary is what is going to bless you? To be established? Who lied to you? There is a realm of favor. Are we together? I've shared with you the testimony of this ministry. Where a woman, after a program in Lagos, the woman just came, knelt down in front of me, and looked at me and said please the lord led her to give us a land and gave us a land in lekki it's still there i've not been there in years to see it people have called me and said they gave me a land allocated to sell man of god on behalf of our business we put a b c d portion this is for you and i'm saying god what is this they gave us an assignment to develop maybe a 40 50 estates you know houses and all of that a man of god just to let you know that we have three or four units as our own commission and when we are done one of the units is yours and i'm saying what is this you see why i don't share my testimonies because it makes people angry and when it makes people angry they hate most people sit down and say preachers carry people's money tithes and offerings how much how much access access are we together now on on tuesday we're going to kano tomorrow and on tuesday we're going to nigerian immigration services their headquarters where the top leaders of Nigerian immigration across the whole nation I have been with them for how many years now I think about four four years we go there every year I talk to them I counsel them the top of the top leaders you don't even enter their office yet for them is a privilege well done sir well done sir that's favor listen listen I'm not teaching you cunningly devised favors Favor is not just money. Men are rising to assist you to succeed. After my meeting in Joss, I had a little session for a school of ministry in Joss. And when I was done, a lady walked up and gave me something and said, please go and give your mother. I said, hi, this thing is still working. 
I just met my mother. I said, I met a lady. I don't even know who she is. She said, I should give you. And my mother said, this is what I prayed for. I was telling, I think it was um, a big letter of crayfish. And she said, I should go and give my mother. It is difficult to glorify God when you kill yourself producing the result. There is like Bishop Oyedeko called sweatless triumph. There is such a possibility. If you don't believe it, choose your destiny. But as for me, I have decided that hardship will not age me. I will not sit down and be, I will never come and manipulate you and deceive you. All of you sold to 2,000 naira so that I can have food to eat. Not when there is a God in heaven. How to activate favor? What is the mystery that controls this thing? Favor is not just unmerited access. What is the key? Jesus. The first key to activating favor is sowing the seed of honor. The first key to activating favor in your life is sowing the seed of honor. Write it down. Honor is the first key. Sowing the seed, not receiving a harvest of honor. You must sow the seed for honor. Because honor is the key for access. When you sow seeds of honor, you begin to activate favor. What is honor? The ability to recognize, the ability to celebrate, and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness. That's honor. Not just the ability to appreciate it in your heart. The ability to recognize. The ability to celebrate. And the ability to reward men for their honor. The seed of honor. I don't mean money. A seed called honor. You sow honor into a man's life. There are many people who will never rise in life because of dishonor. No favor in their life. They don't know the difference between a great man and a weak man. Everybody is the same to them. All men are equal. Hey, please, I don't do all of this. No. Honor. Many of you don't know why we sow seeds of honor. We transport you after koinonia. Do you know why? It's a seed of honor. We are programming honor upon the ministry. It's not just that we have a lot of money. When our elderly people come, we don't let them join the queue except they want to. They sit down. It's a seed of honor. When I hug our children here, it's a seed of honor. My life is a walking seed of honor. I have mastered sowing seeds of honor. The first key to command on ending favor, honor. Honor through conversations. Honor through your body language. Honor through your, vest, your gestures. You see an elderly woman and I greet her. Mama, how are you? That's the seed of honor. Oh, she cannot speak English. No problem, Mama. Don't put yourself under pressure. You don't have to know English. Find an interpreter. Seeds of honor. Are we together now? Yes. I sow seeds of honor everywhere. Once you discern difference, you sow that seed of honor. That you are close to an environment of honor does not mean you will have it. You must sow seeds of honor to parents. The entire hamper that was given to me while I was in Jaws, they already know I carried it with the wine and everything and I took it home. As I got home, I just dropped it. When my mother heard I was coming to Jaws, she said, what do I want? I said, I'm not sure. I'm, she should not do anything. My mother refused and said she must do something. She made chin chin and made chicken. That's my mother. But she has discerned that this is not only my son. This is a man of God. Seeds of honor. That's why honor keeps coming. Honor is not coming because she's my mother. She's walking these principles. Let me tell you, whoever walks it will receive it. Bad manners. Being rude. Dishonor. You are driving favor from your life. You don't treat people well. You treat everybody like a piece of rag. There are men of God who favor stopped in their life when they rose. Because they have no regard for anybody. They receive honor from others. But they don't give honor. So those lower than them. Let me tell you the mystery. Behind stagnation of favor for many men. They keep receiving honor. Those lower than you keep honoring you. But then you yourself don't give honor. 
so you remain there and all of them rise and catch up with your level and even go higher than you then you start saying you people are competing with me abi there's no such thing you refuse to rise because you two are supposed to be rising there are sowing seeds of honor if you keep sowing seeds to me in koinonia whether money or whether whatever and i don't do the same thing you need to see me when i stand before greatness you will not know it's the same apostle joshua selma you're talking about if it means me cleaning the shoes i do it with jesus joy honor it's a big secret many of us do not know honor honor i honor the holy spirit with my life i don't just serve him i don't just use him for anointing koinonia honors the holy spirit that's why you see all kinds of signs and wonders we don't ignore his presence it doesn't matter what we are teaching as the worship team whatever happens the holy spirit has unrestrained honor this ministry that's why we keep seeing signs and wonders that's why we keep seeing him lifting us from place to place every church i have gone to i have honored them honored them not in terms of money necessarily but honor them in terms of treating them well i don't climb anybody's pulpit and violate their doctrinal beliefs regardless of what it is i manage whatever it is they believe and i preach well if their pulpit if it's a church that they are not allowed to jump around and move and stand in one place i stand in one place because it is honor and at the end of it they say wow we found a young man who is anointed there are churches i preach you never hear me pray in tongues once it doesn't mean i don't they do not allow that in the open and then i, I subscribe honor are we together i'm showing you success systems these are the mysteries that people have engaged that has changed their lives honor you must sow seeds of honor number two how do i activate favor consistently not today up and tomorrow down two value we've spoken about it you activate favor in your life when you solve people's problems when your life is committed to solving people's problems providing valuable solutions to them it's drizzling outside please coordinate them if some of them can come in let's this is coming or they, they can get into the the um the canopies thank you so much some of them who can come in you can bring them in but most of them can go to the canopies. God bless you and thank you. Hallelujah. Solving problems. We are blessed as a ministry because we solve problems. As I'm teaching now, I'm adding value to you. Is that true? I'm adding value. Listen, let me tell you something. Your, when you start solving people's problems, you should do honor. Thank you, sir. There are people I've never seen who call me, man of God, I just listened to your message essentials for a glorious relationship you just saved our marriage here is a little seed man of god i just listened to your message financial dominion man of god i just listened to your message why revivals die solving problems the moment you solve problems you show honor and everywhere there is honor i teach that there is favor and everywhere there is favor there are all kinds of rewards including finances So the more valuable you become in solving people's problems. Joseph scheduled a season of favor for himself because he was in the prison and he noticed that the prisoners were not laughing. Dr. Mike Wunder calls wisdom the ability to discern difference. And he saw that their countenance, something was wrong. And he asked them, what is wrong? They were not the ones who came and told him the dream. He said, what is wrong? And he said, ah, okay. You have asked let me tell you this is what happened and he interpreted the dreams and it happened value you must begin to solve people's problems they will love you they will honor you you must cry to god for grace to be a problem solver you are either creating problems or solving them you are either creating problems or solving them if some of these chairs are free please let's let's not have people stand they can occupy the chairs god bless you thank you hallelujah number three the 
third key to commanding favor in your life is integrity. The third key to activating favor in your life is integrity. Integrity. Very, very important. What is integrity? Comes from the word integer. Sameness. Consistency. Let me tell you something. You're a man of God here. Listen to me. Before people begin to bless you and sow into your church or your ministry, they will probe your life. Don't think because you just started ministry, people will bless you. They will probe your life. They will hear testimonies of changed lives and want to watch whether he's like one of them. After a life, a season of integrity and consistency, then they conclude. You know, let me tell you something. Hold on. Many people think that the moment you are anointed, you are charismatic, people will just be loyal to you like that. It's a dream. There are many anointed people who have attention but no loyalty. Do you know why? Because people must vet your life and find out that you are worthy of their loyalty nobody will be loyal to you like that parents will not just ask their children oh i don't have a problem with you loving this man of god give people a chance to probe your life and clear their doubts then they will honor you are we together when we started out in this ministry most people thought that you know we're just joking most people thought it was all this young people's thing and for, for, for years, most people thought I was on serious. It's just all these young guys doing things on campus. It's just these people trying to do something. But eventually, I never was angry with them. Because every great man must be probed. Saying people should not probe you is a joke. They check your character with ladies. They check your character with money. They check your character with discipline. They see how you manage challenges. They see a lot of it is based on that. They will say, Kai, this man is worth my commitment. We have seen that God brought two naira to his hand. And that two naira did not change him. He did not stop preaching the truth. Just because he's looking for food to eat. This is a consistent man. This man will be my pastor. There are many people roaming around. Calling everybody son. Calling everybody daughter. What investment have you made in their life? You must allow people to probe you. You start a business and they suspect whether your product... There are people, when I started out, because of the dimension of the anointing in my life, many people thought, you know, you know, anytime you see somebody walking in unusual levels of the anointing, you may think that maybe some kind of charm or whatever it is. And I used to hear people say it and I say, leave them. Even me, if I attended Koinonia and I watched a man called Joshua Selma, I would think he's holding a charm. And then you watch. There are many people, some of you seated today. Years ago, you would be the last person to be here. Because you had your differences. Some of you argued it. But with time, now you are some of the strongest people. Do you know, there are people in many nations of the world. And their assignment is to take koinonia messages. There are whole churches that sit down. And what they use for either evening service or midweek service is a koinonia message. And they just sit down. There are youth groups, youth fellowships around. You know why? Because they took out time to probe you. And when they see integrity, the ability to be unbending regardless of the situations. There are men of God who start teaching and say don't manipulate money from people. But the day they have needs as a ministry, they start bending to that standards. Are we together? Yes. Once people see integrity and consistency, then they make up their minds to listen to anything you say. Listen. Let people probe you until they find a reason to believe you. Never stop anybody. Listen. If there is anything you are unsure of about my life and this ministry, you have a right to sit down and clear your conviction so that you are confident. Are we together? Many of you get angry when people suspect you. <laughs> How come Pastor Alpha have been watching him? The way he has been rising in the last three months. This guy may have taught something. Abba, am I not innocent? Let people probe you. So that when they believe you, they will be the greatest defense. I know you. 
there are people to do it they are the ones who are defending this ministry ah no i used to know this brother there was a day he gave me 50 naira he started his giving sins do you know the people who accuse you today will be the ones to defend you tomorrow give them a chance to have a testimony by themselves there are people who think the miracles that we announce here are manipulated or faked simply because they've heard that maybe some churches do a lot of things and they come here and then the person who falls under the anointing is seated close to them they watch it with their own eyes and then eventually their own sicknesses leave and they go back and say wow i have seen for myself integrity the third key to activating favor consistency integrity unbending unbending consistently producing results when we started the school of ministry this is the fifth set now when we started the school of ministry most people thought it was a joke let me tell you something look up please as a man of god let me give you a great advice the moment you are doing too many things and you cannot continue in them men will stop believing you you just get up today and says we have 14 days of fire vigil and then after 12 days okay, we found out that things are happening we are not doing this again there are too many inconsistent people we are going to start koinonia business school and after two weeks nobody comes then you close it when people probe you and they see that you are too erratic you know what it means to be erratic you just come up with programs there's no consistency nobody will submit to such an authority people want to see consistency they want to know that this is who you are they want to know that you can be predictable you never hear anybody come and give testimony here i don't care whether you're a millionaire or whatever i have never gone to the house of anybody in the name of going there to find out and say okay we are some of our top uh, offering givers and tight payers in koinonia i love you so much and uh, i just wanted you to know that we have the following needs no if i've ever come to your house to tell you we have the following needs stand up hallelujah how many men of god have destroyed integrity from their lives they go around harassing church members and look at people and say uh we don't know if god is speaking to you there's a drum set the thing has turned honestly it's embarrassing and you inconvenience people everywhere integrity please bring bring the, the continuous now. number four the third the fourth key to activating favor is quality relationships quality relationships favor is relationship dependent that's why i taught you those other laws quality relationship who you know matters it gives you access men can be wings to you men can become wings to you there are people we know today that can speak for us there are people i know today that can speak for me are we together they can make ex exemptions for you you sow seeds of favor seeds of favor and it changes your life forever relationships number five the third key to activating favor is praying favor provoking prayers there are favor provoking prayers the bible says for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone that asketh lord open my heavens cause men to bless me put an anointing upon my life that makes men bless me favor provoking prayers you can pray your way among other things into favor favor provoking prayers many of us don't pray i pray it seriously lord this ministry is a well-watered garden people are coming givers are coming my life is a good soil people are sowing into my life as they sow into my life they receive a hundredfold harvest when you sow into a man's life and you receive a harvest nobody will tell you to do it again you will continue doing it again and again and again they sow into your life and nothing happens these are the seeds that you sow and then number six the sixth way of provoking or activating favor in your life is by an impartation from the careers of that anointing an impartation 
of the grace for favor an impartation of the grace for favor from the careers of the anointing this oil is not what anoints you this oil is simply oil when the oil is anointed then it becomes a medium to bless you the oil in itself has to be anointed this is not anointing oil this is oil after the prayers on it it becomes an anointing oil and it can bless you can favor be transferred can that grace the mantle the grace for favor be transferred absolutely there are people in this ministry that are carrying it bodily there are people who have begun to see it in their lives like day and night people call me all the time and say my god apostle this thing works like charm and tonight it will come upon your life what does favor give you in life speed speed what are the benefits of activating favor speed speed something that would take men 10 years can be achieved in three months under an atmosphere of favor What are the benefits of favor? Number two, ease. Ease. The mystery of ease. People like Bishop Oyedeko will call it sweatless triumph. Ease. Where the lines just fall for you in pleasant places and you have a good heritage. Battles that stand before you. While you are preparing to fight them, you open the door and find dead bodies. Favor fought your battles. Favor has fought my battles in life. I have seen ah, for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of my friend. friend. We magnify your name. Koinonia, look at this. We are in Zaria in the north. This whole road. This is a major road, but this whole road is blocked every Friday. Every Friday. Go and try to block a road somewhere in the name of service and see what happens to you. Everything works for our favor in this ministry. Everything, regardless of what it is. You try to fight this ministry, you will watch by yourself activating favor and making it happen. You don't fight a man of favor and win. It's a waste of time. It's like boxing in war. Where a man that carries the mantle of favor is untouchable. Literally untouchable. Because God will raise help left, right and center. Left, right and center. Left, right and center. Many of our parents have no favor. No doors opening for them. Nothing happening. Favor. Koinonia today is a place of favor. 70% of the people who are blessed by this ministry have never seen me. How do you follow a man when the videos are not even uploaded on YouTube? They don't know the picture. The first and only time certain people have seen me is dreams. Yet you listen to the message, it forces you to look for someone and give him. Whether you like it or not. That's not normal. There are people following scattered across different nations this night. Favor has brought me honor. Favor has brought me glory. I have stood before politicians. I have stood before kings. I have stood before billionaires. I have drank of their minds and their wisdom for free. Men have given me access, uncommon access, uncommon doors. It still happens all the time and it will not fail. There are people who send me text messages every time. Apostle, is there anything we can do for you? We want to do for you. I don't know how many people in this ministry send text messages every time. We want to wash your car. We want to do something. 
somebody came early in the morning i was sleeping and i had it, it was like there was water splashing on my car and i checked and i saw somebody washing my car by force i know if i ask you you won't agree i said what is this one honestly they even disturb it just washing the car with joy i said now if i drive this person favor favor it is real and it happens we have sown seeds of favor we meet the security people we honor them we bless them the, the nigerian union of road transport workers they come here some i'm sure many of them are outside here with the buses and they are waiting 99 percent of them are not necessarily christians but they love koinonia and they will come and wait and watch the service and watch everything happening no complaint you know why because seeds of honor have been sown seeds of honor has been sown there are so many people we have scattered seeds of honor around look at cgc and the honor that they have shown this ministry i have never seen a ministry with men of god as humble and members that love jesus and truthfully like the members in this church cgc it is true it is true it is from my heart and it is true hallelujah some of the pastors are my fathers and literally those men can see me and just greet like this and i'm wise enough to know that whilst they are sowing seeds of honor i must sow seeds of honor every time people sow seeds of honor sow it back don't receive and wait you receive they have reason but you have remained where you are they will be calling you a superstar but it will be for a short time until they catch up with you somebody blesses you ah um pastor alpha bless you you reciprocate back that way both of you have risen. We sow into the lives of mission agencies because we honor what they represent. That's why souls continue to be saved here. David Biome, the Lord asked him to go and meet Billy Graham before he dies. And David Biome traveled to America, carried a very huge seed, sowed into the life of Billy Graham. And Billy Graham said a word of prayer for him. He said he came back and preached a very simple message and about one third of the church came out for altar call he carried something whenever you see consistency there is something tonight you're about to receive an impartation this may be one of the most important days in your life some of you have never had a man of God impart anything upon you. You have gone for anointing services. Some of you have all kinds of oils in your house. Oil does not anoint. The oil is anointed to anoint. My prayer is that there will be a replication of results. This is my prayer. And I, don't, I know that not everybody will believe it. But brothers and sisters, if you believe this, God has given me honor. God has given me honor, honor beyond my level in life. Everything connected to me has flourished. God has blessed me. He has done all kinds of things. While you are seated, everyone, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is the moment. I'm ready to succeed. I am tired of failing. I am tired of hardship. Pray. You have taken all my shame You've taken all my tears You've taken all my cries You've taken all disappointments You've taken all my pain You've taken all my shame And you have made them yours My heart sorrows you've taken all my pain you've taken all my sorrows you've taken all my pain you have made 
in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty empty it is favor that fills your account it is favor that builds the house for you I want to pray on this anointing I like you to pray while you are praying Lord every anointing for favor upon the life of this ministry upon the life of your servant must be reproduced verbatim in my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray Be careful, put it. There is a heavy anointing on these oils. Heavy unction of the spirit. Heavy anointing. I want to pray. Now, this is how we're going to do it. Listen, there are there's this is the main ball. There's overflow one, there's overflow two, the road, there's ever overflow three. Now, the way we are going to do it, I'm going to I'm going to lay my hands as I speak now. There will be people standing. Please, it takes a lot of time. We will be fast. Many of you will not be able to stand. I don't know how we'll manage this. The moment this oil touches your head and you receive it, begin to prophesy. Command things to hear your voice and command them to produce for you. Don't just have the oil and sit down and you are watching. Are we together? And then we are going to round up. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have anointed me, you have shown me favor. You have granted me access to mysteries. And Lord, I decree and declare, this oil is about coming upon the life of your people. In the name of Jesus, Lord, everyone, please help me with the mic. Every single person who partakes of this impartation, Lord, may everything around them turn around. May everything around them turn around. Miracle jobs by this favor. Turn around miracles by this favor. In the name of Jesus, let hopeless situations change. Let hopeless situations change. Let the barren receive twins, triplets. Lord, in one month, may men become millionaires. I say it again. In one month, may people who don't have anything in their pocket now, let it be a testimony that will shock everyone. May businesses arise from nowhere. Let there be people here that will start paying the school fees of several children because of how blessed they will be. I decree and declare, while this is an oil of favor, I call it the oil of judgment. As this oil comes on your head, I declare that because of what is on your head, someone must be laid to rest to let you go. Listen, 
uncompleted projects, whether academics, whether whatever, as this oil comes, the grace for completion comes with it. Hear me? Anyone here struggling financially, except it is not the hand of God that is upon my life, I decree and declare that as this oil comes upon you, in ways that even you, you cannot explain, God will change your stories and wipe your tears. I provoke the grace, the anointing. Let everyone who makes contact with this oil, some of you, as soon as it touches you, you will see your phones ringing, miracles, text messages, in the name of Jesus. Whatever you have been looking for that did not come, let it come right now. In Jesus' name. If there is anybody who is in any kind of trouble now, trouble that only God can help you, I speak to you. By this favor that has come upon you, I turn things around. In the name of Jesus Christ. I turn things around in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you all the praise. We will never be the same. In the name of Jesus. Keep standing everyone. Please keep standing very quickly. This is past 10. We're very late. Our time is up. But I know that you will agree with me that it was worth it. Please keep standing. I want to give just a minute for people to rededicate their lives to Jesus. I know we have received this impartation. Our time is gone. But if you are coming out, please, I want you to make it fast. There are people here tonight who are saying, Lord Jesus, I want to, I make up my mind to walk with you. And others saying, Lord Jesus, I handed my life to you, but something happened here and there. And now I cannot say I'm standing in you. There are some of them inside here looking at me. Many outside, some of you are coming for the first time. Wherever you are, I want to give you an opportunity now. Please make your way to the front. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Clap for them as they come. God bless you. God bless you, madam. Bless you, you are on a crutch. God bless you. I'm going to pray for you. God bless you. Let them come quickly. Clear the way for them. They are running. They are coming. Run to Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, are you clapping for them? Encourage them. Please don't sit back. I want to run to Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are joining them, join them fast. Our time is gone. Our time is gone. Join them fast. Lift your right hand. I want to pray with you. That's all right, everyone. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I declare that tonight Jesus is my Lord. Say after me, Jesus, I believe in you. I hand over my life to you. I declare that the greatness you have destined for me, I must leave it. I ask that my sins be forgiven. I ask that you give me a new beginning. I am your child from today. I receive your life forward ever and backward never. Keep your hands lifted. Father, I present to you this that Jesus died for. They have made a decision to love you, to serve you. I pray that you seal this decision with the presence of the Holy Spirit. I declare that your sins are forgiven. The Lord gives you a new beginning from tonight. You will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Please make sure someone prays with that lady. She came when the prayer was on. Pastor Femi, you can just pray with her. Now, please follow... There's a lady waving her hands. There's another gentleman waving their hands. Quickly go to them. They will direct you. Have your details and congratulate you on, their behalf, on our behalf. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.